Finnish Prime Minister Sana Marin from the SDP, the Social Democratic Party of Finland, who has been in office since 2019, has a scandal on her hands. And this so-called scandal is about her attending a party several weeks ago. The reason why this scandal, if you want to call it this, is coming out now is because a video of the party leaked and you might wonder what this video shows so that it actually gets media coverage outside of Finland. She was dancing and singing and drinking alcohol with her friends. That's it. Sure, one conservative politician claims that he saw cocaine lines on a table somewhere in the background and is hence demanding that everybody who attended the party, including Marine, should take a drug test several weeks later and if they didn't this would be admission of guilt which is quite frankly ridiculous but even then the worst thing I could make out of this is hypocrisy other people get locked up for doing drugs and these people would get away because they're friends with the Prime Minister that's it I mean Come on, if you want to take drugs and you then don't harm other people because of this uh, or you don't put other people in danger like uh, deciding, oh, I can still drive a car, uh, I don't really have a problem with that. And neither should you if you actually believe in something conservatives and uh, libertarians always claim they are in favor of, especially since the pandemic hit and that is bodily autonomy, but especially in the United States, they already have proven with their stances on, uh, well, abortion, that they don't really take this talking point too seriously. Or, at the very least, have never really thought it through. Now, is it a scandal that a 36-year-old woman attends a private party with her friends? Obviously not. And Marine, even though her approval has, well, fallen since its height two years ago when her first response to the COVID-19 pandemic got her into the 80s in the approval rating, it is still at a 53%, which is very solid for somebody in office since three years. A lot of other heads of government or heads of state would love to have such a high approval rating. And uh, in recent months, her party, uh, the Social Democratic Party, uh, made up ground in general polling in Finland to the uh, conservatives who have been leading in the polls for two years at this point. Um, so yeah, um, she is a very popular politician in Finland. Her party is still the second strongest party in Finland in the polling. And I don't really think her attending a party is going to change that. If you, if that is your attempt to hope to once again tank the polling of the SDP, and also get her approval rating under 50%. I mean, if this works, congratulations, but then I have to wonder how much of a stick up their ass the Finnish people have if they want their prime minister to do, well, never have fun.